Hello, welcome to episode nine of Chris's Moto Life. Today we've got an interesting old bike that just kind of came into the shop that we need to do a little refurbishment on. It is a 1979 BMW R65. It looks kind of like a small bike, but when I did the research on it, apparently this was BMW's idea in 19, I think it was 78 or 79 this model came out. This was their entry level bike. And I use air quotes because for BMW, entry level is probably like double the price of any Japanese bike. But this is a 650 engine in a full sized frame. They really look a lot smaller than some of the bikes of today. And I think it's because there's just not a lot of body work on it. This one should be a real cautionary tale for anybody that owns a motorcycle and just lets it sit. This bike came to me and the lady said that maybe she wants to ride it this summer and get back into it. But by letting it sit, the front brake, the hydraulic front brake has completely locked up. So I'm gonna have to rebuild the master cylinder, most likely the brake caliper down here and probably put a new hydraulic hose on it. We moved back to the carburetors. She said that the bike sat for two years. I think it was a lot longer. I mean, it smelled like a varnish factory when I took apart these carburetors. I just popped the bowls off to see what was going on in there and they were gummed up like you would not believe. So really folks, if you're going to let your bike sit for any length of time, just turn the fuel tap to the off position and let the bike run until it stops. At least that way you'll have all the gas out of the carburetors. Nothing, nothing should, should happen. Still best to start them up every now and then. The gas tank looks pretty bad. It's got some really bad gasoline in it. So I'm going to have to flush that, maybe even soak it with some vinegar to get the rust out of it. Next we come to the battery. By not using a battery tender, this battery is completely dead. We're going to have to buy a new battery for it. So basically we're just going to kind of see if she wants to recommission it. I've got to give her the bad news today. I don't like making phone calls like this, but sometimes you've got to do that. I mean, she was probably hoping it would cost maybe $200 to get it back on the road. This may be a seven, $800 job, all because of just letting the bike sit. And we haven't even talked about tires yet. I figured that'll change the engine oil, change the rear oil, maybe do a little tune up, maybe put the plugs in, adjust the valves. I think this could be a really nice bike for somebody and it can get you into the, B into the BMW bike ownership for not a lot of money. I'm hoping that she's gonna want it refurbed because I think it's a shame just to let old, old motorcycles just sit around and perish. All right, enough about that BMW motorcycle been suggested to me that uh, maybe I should start some of these machines up whether we're talking about cars or motorcycles well some people live on golf courses fortunately for my neighbors they live in houses that front to the Mahalik Grand Prix aka my private test track so why don't we just fire off my track bike and take it for a rip off of the road I know that the neighbors love this, and I think that they really enjoy the beautiful sounds that this Akrapovich full exhaust makes. So, as always, I really thank you for taking the time to watch Chris's Moto Life. I want you all to have the greatest week in the world coming up. Sorry that we're late today. I would have filmed yesterday, but you would not believe the rain that we're getting in Pennsylvania. All right? Let's let this puppy rip and take it up the road.